Of course, the best way to battle the heat is to stay indoors. But for many, that's not an option. News 5's Debbie Williams is live in Foley. And Debbie, compared to the rest of the weekend, this could be one of the cooler days. But certainly hot enough, you know. This is the typical time of the year here in South Alabama that we get this extreme heat. And folks here have learned to deal with it the best way they can. By midday, Tori Rigsby had just about had enough. I'm supposed to have my cool tile on. She's going to see this on the news saying I got my cool tile on. My cool she's going to be mad at me. It's plenty hot out here, but he says it has been hotter. Oh, no, I've been out here hotter than that. About the heat index be like about 105, somewhere up in there. Still hot enough for playgrounds to be empty. <laughs> and splash pads to be full. And it's too hot to play outside, so we came here to stay cool and still have fun. To deal with the heat? I get all my screen from the man up above, so and I got bills to pay, so ain't no problem. You just gotta know what to do. Yeah. Eat light. Don't eat nothing heavy, like no fried chicken or gravy and like that. You gotta eat something light. And above all, stay hydrated. <laughs> That's very good advice. You know, late this afternoon, we had an isolated thunderstorm that moved through the south part of the county, cooled things off just enough to steam things back up again, and the heat this weekend expected to be brutal. Live on the Baldwin County Beat in Foley, Debbie Williams, WRG News 5.